Franklin's Flying Bookshop. This is Franklin. He is a big green dragon. Franklin loves stories. Stories keep him warm at night. His front door is a bookcase that keeps out the wind. There are lots of books inside the cave that Franklin lives in. He likes to read them out loud for everyone to hear. Every day, Franklin reads about King Arthur and roller skating. <laughs> This is King Arthur and he has roller skates. About electricity and baking. He reads about spiders and ballet. And how to kung fu. When the sun goes down, Franklin reads by the light of a thousand fireflies. Because fireflies like to hear stories too. Look at all these fireflies that they surround Franklin. But if it's a warm night, he spreads his wings and flies into the skies to read by the light of the moon. There is a village near Franklin's cave. Sometimes Franklin goes there, but it's always quiet and it's always empty. And he never can find anyone to read stories to. That's because all the people, they stay indoors and they're scared of Franklin. So Franklin goes home and reads about gymnastics and helps the bat in his cave set up a trapeze. Then he yawns very loudly and stretches his tail and climbs into bed with a cup of chamomile tea. <sighs> I'm going to sleep. He sleeps tucked up under hundreds of comic books and dreams about Vikings sailing over the sea. One day, by the stream, Franklin sees a man. What are you? cries the man, quacking in his boots. I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon who loves books and I live in a cave. But the man drops his fishing rod and runs far away. So Franklin goes home and reads about music and helps the mice in his cave start up a band. This man was very scared. Next day, by the farm, Franklin sees a lady. What are you? cries the lady shivering on the spot. I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hands. I'm a dragon and a band manager and I like ballet. Oh, help! So Franklin trails home and reads about space and helps the fireflies make patterns like the stars in the sky. Next day, in the woods, Franklin sees a young girl. She has bright red hair, the same color as the leaves, and she's reading a book sitting under a big tree. What are you? asks the girl jumping up to her feet. I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon who likes stargazing and playing croquet. I love dragons, cries the girl, and she shakes Franklin's hand. You're in this book that I'm reading about, about a faraway land. Luna tells Franklin she reads about remote secret islands, about treasure hunts and pirates, about fruit spots and acrobats and how to be a spy. Franklin tells Luna he read about sword fighters and fire eaters, about circuses and anteaters, about flower arranging and carol singing and making apple pie. Luna and Franklin feel like they are made out of stories. Stories with exciting beginnings, thrilling middles and very happy ends. Stories about new people and strange places and about making friends. They want to share their favorite books with as many people as they can. So they sit together and come up with a plan. They hoist bookshelves up high with the help of the mice. They tie ropes round and round to make sure they fit tight. They move the sofa, some cake tins, tie comics on a string to make a small loopside bookshop between Franklin's wings. Everybody climbs on board. 
Luna holds her breath. <gasps> the mice hold each other. The firefly gasps and the bats cross their toes. Aha, that's funny. Franklin bends down and low and runs as fast as he can. He sprints down the hill and spreads out his wings and takes off into the sunset with the help of the wind. Franklin lands his flying bookshop in the middle of the village. Is that a dragon? cries the fisherman. What a monster! another one cries. His name is Franklin, shouts Luna, a fierce look in her eyes. We built this bookshop together from the books in his cave. Franklin's kind and he's clever and he is my friend. There is a small silence. Franklin shuffles his feet in the quiet street. It's nice to meet you, he says as he waves to the crowd, who have stopped in their tracks and are listening now. We have lots of stories that we'd love to share. Please come and say hello and pull up a chair. The fireflies light up the shelves. The bats cartwheel along, along the bookcases and the mice clear their throats and start singing songs. It isn't be long before the villagers start taking a look, climbing onto Franklin uh, to peer at the books. Franklin takes a deep breath as Luna passes out cake. He tells them stories about scientists and Antarctica and snakes. He whispers tales about dragons and how to make creme brulee, and everyone is listening to what we have to say. Let's fly! Luna smiles as the firefly dance and the acrobatic bats show off their kung fu. So they all hold on tight as Franklin takes flight, reading books by the light of the moon. Now all the villagers they are not scared of Franklin anymore and everybody loves reading stories. The end.